Hello and welcome back to another episode of Invincible Asia. I'm George from Movie Misfit and this is another episode of Show and Tell where I have been an extremely naughty boy and bought myself another box load from eBay. Okay, so I may have been an extremely bad boy in buying myself this, but it wasn't as many as the previous uh, boxes had. Well, I say it wasn't as many, it's probably four or five less, but hey, whatever. Um, so anyway, regardless, there's some cracker titles here. There's a few modern ones. There's some classic Hong Kong titles, but I'm very, very excited to get stuck into them. So let's do that. Okay, first on the list is Firestorm starring Andy Lau. Um, I think this is an Australian uh, distributor, madman.com. Yeah, okay, madman.com.au. It's an Australian uh, label. This I have been dying to see for years. I've never managed to get my hands on it, which is why, I, of course, why I picked it up. Um, let's just show you the, the cover. Uh, it's all out war. I've been so excited to get my hands on this. Of course, uh, let's see, 2013 production stars Andy Lau, Gordon Lam, Yao Chen, Ray Loy, Philip Kung, uh, Michael Wong, Sammy Hung, Terence Xien, and Vincent C. Um, directed by Alan Yoon Kam Lung, who also directed uh, Let's Go Slam Dunk way back in 1994, and then more recently, uh, The Rookies, which stars Mila Jovovich, uh, which I actually really enjoy, and Darren Wang's in there. I actually really enjoy it. A lot of people thought it was shit, <laughs> but I just think it's an absolute madcap riot of a movie. Um, which I got recently on Blu-ray from Germany. Uh, it was released in the U.S. as something like Deadly Mission Budapest, something like that. Check it out. It is a lot of fun. Uh, it's just total tongue-in-cheek action movie, but I really, really enjoyed it. Inside here we have, uh, it does have a double case. Uh, the side's broke. I don't think I'm missing a disc to, I don't know. There's no, there's not enough special features or there's no special features listed here to say that I am missing a disc but the disc is there and then of course inside here you have a double-sided cover with a shot from the movie and then a um, printed disc uh, offering other titles from the label. So there we go. I'm looking forward to getting to watch this one actually. Very very excited. Love Andy Lau of course and there's a great cast of co-stars to join him. Next. Next up is a 1986 classic that I've been dying to get my hands on for friggin' so long. Dream Lovers from DMB Films starring Chow Yun Fat, Bridget Lin, uh, Billy Chang and Elaine Kam, directed by Tony O Ting Ping, who also directed uh, Au Revoir Mon Amour. Uh, yes, this is one I've been waiting to get my hands on for so long. I am a big fan of Chow Yun Fat's uh, spiritual love. It's kind of around, kind of around the same era and a uh, similar theme of a movie, but absolutely excited to get stuck into this one. There we are. Yay! Finally. Next. Next up is another great title that I've been dying to get my hands on for so long. A horror action comedy called Shy Spirit uh, from 1991, directed by Chun Yan Chien, who also directed Aloha Little Vampire Story. Magic Warriors, uh, 21 Red List, which also stars Alexander Lo Ray, who handles the action here, as well as doubles up as the assistant director, and I think maybe has a cameo or an extra role in there somewhere. Stars the amazing Lam Ching Ying, of course, uh, Colin Chow, Nai Zing, Eric Chang, Chung Fat, Dick Wei, Stanley Fung, um, and Billy Ching is in there also. Don't know too much more about it. Of course, it's come around that Mr. Vampire, um, era of, you know, Lam Ching Ying just suddenly became the one that, the only one that could battle vampires. Um, so I'm really excited to see it. Uh, not too sure what this label is about or where it's from. Kuala Lumpur, there you go, Kuala Lumpur. So a Malaysian um, distribution label, but yes, very hard movie to get. So once I saw it there on sale on eBay with this, uh, with this seller, I jumped on it. Couldn't pass that up, could I? Next. Next up is another 1991 Hong Kong movie called Don't Fool Me, aka Triad Affairs from director Herman Yao, who I absolutely adore. Um, yes, uh, produced by Taylor Wong, who was the director of Rich and Famous, Tragic Heroes, Stars and Roses, 
uh, with action by Lam Moon Wa, who was the action actor and choreographer who worked on the likes of The Prince of Temple Street with Andy Lau, A Day Without Policeman, No More Love, No More Death, Prison of Fire 2, Story of Drunken Master, Avenging Quartet, Hero of Swallow with Yun Bio, and so much more. Oh, but yes, this looks like a typical early 90s uh, Hong Kong action comedy with the likes of Andy Lau, Tony Long Chua, uh, Theresa Mo, Fenny Yoon's in there also, Xing Fu On, Michael Chan Wai Man, Anthony Wong, Gabriel Wong himself, the funny man with the big glasses, um, and who else? Uh, Bruce Law, I believe, pops up uh, throughout as well. But yes, ooh, Jesus, that was a bit of a loose one. Okay, typical release from the Universe uh, DVD label. Not too much more going on with it there and probably just has a couple of trailers um, and synopsis on the menu. Yes, star files and trailer. Anyway, excited to watch it. Next. Next up is one of the more modern titles of the collection. Um, one of the later Wong Fei Hung stories with Vincent Xiao Wen Zhao back in action as Wong Fei Hung. The Unity of Heroes uh, from 2018, directed by Chinese director Lin Xian Zhao. Um, he was behind the Snake Trilogy, like a, a big Chinese uh, special effects trilogy of um, movies. Uh, stars Vincent Xiao and Xiao, Michael Tong, Wei Na and Li Bing Hyun, I believe. Um, I haven't seen anything about it, haven't watched the trailers for it. I uh, didn't really kind of get behind it when it first came out, but I was kind of excited that uh, Xiao Wen Xiao was back in the role as uh, Wong Fei Hung. Anyway, happy days. Next. Next up is one of Johnny Toe's earliest movies from 1980, The Enigmatic Case. What a title. The Enigm <laughs> Enigmatic Case, uh, directed by Johnny Toe, with action from Ng Kit Kung, a popular bit player of almost about 130 movies. For me, this kind of had a... I did watch it already. It kind of had a, a real nice vibe, kind of like even that early kind of duel to death kind of thing about it. There was a real stylish take on it. It's very comic booky looking here. I would say, yeah, kind of duel to, duel to the death meets last hurrah for chivalry in a way. Uh, although not as action packed as I had hoped. Uh, stars Damien Lau, Cherry Chung, uh, Lau Kong, Kong Hun, uh, Lung Gam San. Uh, but yeah, it still made for quite quite a fun watch. It was very, as as always with Johnny Toe movies, visually stunning. There was always something a bit more artistic about it. But yeah, definitely um, glad to have this in my collection because it's one I had heard about for so long uh, and never managed to find until this eBay seller decided to uh, give it up. Talking about Taylor Wong, here we have Stars and Roses, which I'm very, very, very excited to finally have in my collection. Andy Lau and Cherry Chung uh, in one of their earlier roles. They obviously starred in Zodiac Killers as well and a few others. Um, but this is directed by Taylor Wong with action from Steve Mack um, and also Monkey Mack Wei Chung. Uh, who was popular for his role in Donnie Yen's Legend of the Wolf, of course. Uh, cinematography from Herman Yao, um, which is great. Uh, just pop that open so you can see there. So yes, there's Andy Lau, Cherry Chung, uh, Xing Foyan, Sheila Chan, David Lam Wai, Wong Chi Kung. Uh, not don't know too much more about it in terms of the story, but again, super stoked to have it in the collection, finally after all this time. Next up is another one of the more modern hits, uh, although it's it's aged quite a wee bit already. Uh, Princess and the Seven Kung Fu Masters from 2013. I really enjoy this movie. I know a lot of people don't. It's typical uh, kind of Wong Jing uh, action comedy. But you know, there was a lot of talk for years of Yun Wu Ping uh, doing this Disney live action remake of a Kung Fu uh, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. I guess Wong Jing caught wind of that. Kind of wrote his own part, wrote his own script uh, based on those um, rumors and came up with this absolute bonkers little movie. Um, directed by Wong Jing himself and Venus Wong, produced and written by Wong Jing, of course, with action by the amazing Philip Kwok. Uh, stars Sammo Hung, Sandra Ng, Ronald Cheng, 
Eric Chang, uh, Wong Chu Lam, Yun Hua, Philip Um, Dennis To, um, Zhu Ming Hu, and Timmy Hung, son of Sangwa Hung, of course. Um, but there's a lot going on, and it. it is kind of Kung Fu Hustle vibes all the way through it. Um, even kind of using some of the uh, the characters from Kung Fu Hustle, kind of revamping them for some way, uh, in some way, and bringing them into this. It's nuts. It will not suit everyone's taste by any means, but it's a nice throwback to that kind of late 80s, early 90s um, Wong Jing action comedy. Although, yes, he is starting to run out of steam. I think he's running out of steam. But yeah, it's definitely well worth a look. Um, nice to see Samo in action, as always, of course. He doesn't get a lot to do, but it's still fun to see him. Anyway, next. Oh my god, I'm so excited for this movie. Um, Hero of Tomorrow. I cannot wait. I have been trying to get this for so friggin' long. Hero of Tomorrow from 1988, directed by uh, Poon Man Kit. This is his second film. Of course, he went on to do City Kids 89, uh, To Be Number One, Lord of the East China Sea 1 and 2, and Shanghai Grand with Andy Lau. Um, action by Wong Shu Tong, who's a popular actor and choreographer who directed the Transmigration Romance with Cynthia Khan. Um, but yes, this is from Media Asia, um, as in their distribution label, Megastar. There we go. Uh, stars Michael Moy, Max Mok, William Ho, uh, Monkey Mac Wai Chung again, uh, Chung Wing Jing, and has cameos from the likes of Ku Feng. Tommy Wong and Blackie Ko, I believe, but yes, uh, Hong Kong thriller I have been dying to see for so long. So super excited to now have it here. Mm -hmm. Next. Next up, I have another Wong Jing movie that uh, I caught once on YouTube in a very bad copy. Um, so I'm now super excited, <laughs> as I am with all of these, to finally have this on DVD, uh, Cantonese language with English subtitles. Very, very excited. Crocodile Hunter from Wong Jing, 1989, with action from Stephen Tung Wei and Ben Kong. Um, yes, that is a real name. He was an actor, a uh, popular Kung Fu actor in the 70s and has went on to choreograph some amazing titles. So, yeah, uh, stars Andy Lau, Alex Mann, Sandra Ng, Chung Kwok Lung, uh, Lung Fong, Rosamund Kwan, Xing Fu On, and Big Frankie Chan. Not Frankie Chan from Outlaw Brothers, but Big Frankie Chan or Frankie Chin, um, however you want to know him by. But yes, very, very excited. Bit of a, a wild action comedy. I'm guessing has that same, not guessing, I have seen it, of course, and the same vibes as the likes of uh, The Last Blood and those kind of movies from Wong Jing. Just hard action and some wild comedy. Next. Now here's one Benny Chan movie I never thought I would get the chance to see. Son on the Run. Um, massive fan of Benny Chan, the late Benny Chan. Uh, of course, Raging Fire came out earlier this year, uh, which blew me away. It was fantastic. But Son on the Run was one title I never managed to get my hands on. Uh, made in 1991, directed by Benny Chan, uh, with action from Tony Ching Su Tung, which fucking excites me, of course. Uh, let's see, stars Max Mok, Ng Man Tat, Mei Lu, Cheng Pak Lam, um, Lao Su Ming and Wong, Wong Yat Fei. But yes, very, very, very excited for this one. Uh, in fact, this could go in the player tonight uh, so I can finally get the chance to watch it. Next up, uh, another one of the more modern titles in the box, The Fabulous Mrs. K, um, which I am oh, so excited for. Mrs. K, uh, <laughs> made in 2017, directed by Ho Ying Heng. Um, action from Madam Chan Chung Tai, a Hong Kong actor of over 70 films and the action director of movies like Her Name Is Cat, uh, Kung Fu Mahjong, and he directed his own film with Zombie Island recently, I believe. Um, stars Kara Hoi, or Y, uh, the Shaw Brothers actress who's went on to do a million friggin' movies uh, and is absolutely incredible. Um, of course, there's going to be some age in this movie, but I can't wait to see it because I've heard great things about it. Uh, also stars Simon Yam, uh, Wu Bai, uh, La Wing, Kirk Wong, Fruit Chan. Oh, so excited. Can't wait. Anyway, 
Next. Okay, again, if you can't tell, I get very excited by a lot of things here. And this is one in particular that I've been dying to see for so long. The Imp. Oh my God. The best horror movie in Hong Kong film history. I have yet to see this. I am so excited to see it. Finally, uh, it's on the May Ah uh, label, which I'm not too excited about because the quality from May Ah, uh, even on DVDs, is never great at the best of times. But here we have it. Uh, the Imp from 1981, directed by Dennis Hsu, starring Charlie Chin uh, from the Lucky Stars films, of course. Uh, Yuhua, Ken Chang, Wong Ching, not Wong Jing, Wong Ching. Uh, Chan Shen and Dorothy Yu. Yeah, not too much going on there, but absolutely dying to see it. Asian Film Festival Best Special Effect Prize winner. Next, Next up is Ann Hoy's hugely talked about and highly praised Boat People, um, starring Andy Lau and George Lam, made in 1982. Um, of course, directed by Ann Hoy, who's a very, very popular Hong Kong director. Uh, also stars Season Ma and Cora Mao. There's not much more I can tell you about it, but I do know that this is one movie I have been dying to see, as with them all, of course. But honestly, this I cannot wait. In fact, I'm kind of tempted that this this could be the first one that goes in the player tonight. Uh, comes with a nice uh, card sleeve there, uh, inside same cover, and then the lovely print on the disc. Not too sure what to expect at all. Chinese language, English subtitles, happy days, and a theatrical trailer. That'll do me. Just happy to have it in the collection. Next up is another Lam Ching Ying title, The Tantana, which I'm excited for. Uh, 1991 production directed by Meng Hoi, uh, produced by Jimmy Wang Yu, and with action from Meng Hoi and Su Tak Fu. Uh, starring Samu Hung, Wu Ma, Lam Ching Ying, uh, Ching Gar Lok, Meng Hoi, Ken Lo and Taibo. This is on the um, Bonsai Media Corporation label. Um, a few of those I do have kicking around on the walls here. Um, but yeah, very, very excited to get watching this. I don't think it's one of their greatest movies from what I've heard or what I've read, but I am excited to have it in the collection, of course. Next. Next up is a Bruce Law movie that I've been trying to get my hands on for some time. Not dying to, but I've heard great things about it and I'm excited to finally own it now. That is Extreme Crisis, a 1998 production uh, directed by Bruce Law, who also handles the action, of course, um, as well as having a cameo in there. Stars Julian Chung, uh, Theresa Lee, Shakui, the handsome Kenya Sawada from Japan, and Shiro Mifun. This is on the Universe um, distribution label. Comes with a typical mirror disc there. But yeah, uh, can't tell you too much more about it, but I will be watching it soon. Mm -hmm. Next. So the last film of the box is another Andy Lau movie that I have been wanting to have for some time now. The first time is the last time from 1989, the directorial debut of Raymond Leung, uh, starring Andy Lau, Carrie Ng, Season Ma, Meg Lam, Kenneth Chang, Johnny Wang Long Wei, Nai Sut, Andy Tai, and Lam Chung's in there also. This is on the Winston Entertainment Distribution label, um, so I'm hoping that it's a bit better quality than the Maya label and the Universe uh, distribution. But yeah, I haven't heard too much, or sorry, I don't know too much about it, but I have ha heard great things, so I am excited to get watching it, and I'm just happy once again to own uh, a piece of classic Hong Kong cinema. So there we go, another eBay buy done and dusted. Of course, I didn't go as wild as previous um, boxes and I shouldn't really be doing it. But at the same time, when you find these amazing titles, um, sometimes it helps if you speak to the seller. You never know what kind of deal you're going to get. Don't forget to check out my other videos on the channel, such as the unboxing and review videos, more show and tell videos, and of course, my episodes of Untold Stories, where I have so far managed to interview the wonderful Mike Leader and the great Richard Norton. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. Head on over to the website, invincibleasia.com. Follow me on Instagram, at invincibleasia and at moviemisfit for bullet reviews and much more that I simply just can't put to video. Until next time, enjoy your Kung Fu and I'll see you soon.